Yeah. Uh, and right now, um, there's a lot of youngsters that that's getting into wrestling. There's a lot of wrestlers, a lot more, and uh, a lot more than people may think, actually. Mm -hmm. And they're they're the ones right now doing crazy flips and a lot of things. Uh, I've thought, I'm thinking maybe that's because they don't necessarily go to uh, to the people with experience. They well, don't I, don't, I think they, I think they look at the television. I mean, I think the problem with the with the business now and the, the youth that are coming through, that it's so much easier now. You can get on a computer and see what's going on in Japan. When we were kids, we never had, even had videos to look at ourselves, so we had to really go with what we knew. And I think now, you know, with the likes of TNA and Ring of Honor, where it's it's like really dangerous moves. And I just, I think there's other ways, there's, there's the old fashioned way, there's more than one way to skin a cat. You know, I've done probably two moonsaults in a 28 year, year old career, but those moonsaults were, were done for a reason. But I, I just, I, I, I'm a wrestler, you know, I'm an entertainer, but the, the, the foundation of my career has been through solid wrestling. And, and I, the kids that are coming through, they want to do things. There are stages, you've got to learn to crawl, you've got to learn to crawl, then you've got to learn to toddle, then you've got to learn to walk, then you've got to learn to walk fast, then you've got to learn to run, then you've got to learn to sprint, and then at the end of all that, then maybe you can learn how to fly. But for me it's never been, when I was younger I used to do a lot, a lot more high risks, but as you can see, you know, I've just come back from a double knee, knee surgery. And that, you know, I've been very, very lucky that that's been the first real, real bad operation that I've needed. So that is a testimony. Also, kids come to this gym and they think, I want to be such and such, I want to be him, I want to be him. And it's so, it's so, you know, these people last five minutes because they've got what we call delusions of grandeur. They think that they, they can do this and they can do that. And there's so much more, so much more to learn. Even today, I've learned something from a 16-year-old kid, so I'm still there. And it's not a thing where you can just close the book and go, I know everything. You've always got to keep them open, them open, and that's shut. Now, that being said, for the young kids like me who are growing, who are growing up and want to learn more, and are going to the, to the people with experience, uh, what advice would you give us? Well, that, that is the advice, and also, you know, Sometimes you can think someone's taking the piss out of you where, you know, they're, they're making a joke out of you, something like that. Always, always keep, keep, keep your options open. Always keep your ears open and never be too arrogant and obnoxious that you can't take. You know, as I say, some people try, try and tell me things and I never take it personally or anything like that. Um, what you've done today, you know, you, you, you really put yourself out and you've come here. You've come here and you, 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 you've, you've got up early in the morning and you've, you've walked five miles with a stone in your shoe to get here today. You know, that type of commitment. Also, don't, don't get up in the morning, look at yourself in the mirror and laugh. Because when you take yourself serious, you, you've, you've failed at the first hurdle. You've got to be used to, to, to being, to giving and, and to, to going without to get, to get somewhere. You really have. You've got to be committed. And that's... Main, you know, obviously you've got to train, but as regards the wrestling ability, you've got to be committed and keep your ears and your eyes open and your mouth shut. Mm. And finally, for uh, through all your career, uh, there's obviously stuff that you've learned uh, that people might not actually get it, or they might not have. You might have thought it was one way, mm. but then when you went into that situation. Mm. You find out, oh, it's not that way, it's the other way. Little tips, yeah. little things I think, that... I think the main thing about prolonging a career is being able to work with other people. Being able to, like a piece of Lego. I always say it to these, I always say, if you can, if you can adapt to someone... Like when we wrestled for WCW, we, we, we used to work every show because we could work with the American boys, we could work with the Japanese boys, we could work with the Mexican boys. All right, you know, maybe we didn't do... Maybe we, my wife said I've got five minutes, but anyway, but, but that, that you, you've got to learn to work with people. Maybe, maybe if, maybe if you, they, they are heavy-handed, maybe you've got to be heavy-handed back. 
Maybe some people work light as a feather, then you have to work that way. Maybe someone takes your left hand or your right hand or whatever else, and it's very unorthodox. You've got to be able to adapt. And not only that, adapt with the smile on your face. That's the... Your cup is always half full. That would be for, uh, for youngsters like me getting getting traveling actually yeah. and if you want to go to Japan you have to you have, it's the it's the old fashioned saying when you're in Rome you do what the Romans do and if you can adapt you got on the map with several lads today and got on you got on with, with Gareth and you've done you've done really well you've adapted and, and you could wrestle a little bit and you've done you've done really well. You know and that it's a tip. Alright, well excellent, on this, uh, as you said, even me uh, here, I'm running a little bit out of time, so uh, thank you very much, My I appreciate pleasure. it, just you letting me get in, get here, and get, if it's just, at least just a little bit of that knowledge that you have. Well, at least you've saw a little bit of it today, you know, you, yeah. you've, you've experienced a little bit of what we do, yeah. this, that, that's just one page in a, in, in a 10,000 page book, you know, so... So you're always welcome back. And anyone else from uh, Quebec or Montreal, Montreal, get your ass over here. We will, cause nice over there we, the British doll is, of course, it's it's famous, it's worldwide. We love it. The the wrestling holds everything. Cause there's so much people that get in the ring, and you see them wrestle, but then again, they're not wrestling. If the top rope snaps, <laughs> what happens? <laughs> If you can wrestle, in Japan, my nickname was No Ropes. Because they used to come to me every night and go, Robbie san tonight, no ropes. So I just wrestled. Well, Once, if you can wrestle, you never get stuck. You never get tired. You never get panicked. You, ne you can just do what you do. Well, that's just a, a small example of your knowledge and what you can do in the ring. Well, thank you and, very much. Uh, but it's just another day at the office. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, Robbie. My pleasure. Uh, maybe we'll meet again. I'll try to. I'll try to, to get back here. Maybe. You always get welcome. Someone. So thank you very much. My pleasure. Right. What, what, what are you doing to get back? What are you doing? How are you going to get back? Uh,